Hello and welcome to another one of my video tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to create the server portion of the UDP client that we created in my previous tutorial. So to start we will go file new project console application and then we are going to give it a name UDP server and then click OK and when that happens you should see this screen pop up now like in previous tutorials we are going to have to import a couple libraries before we even do anything and so we're going to go using system.net using system.net system.net.sockets and using system.io again the IO is not needed but we added in there anyway because it's pretty useful for especially server type stuff the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a couple global variables. Well, not global, but variables that we'll be using throughout the program. So int recv. This one will hold basically how much data we're reading or sending. And then we'll do byte open close bracket data equals new byte open bracket 1024 close bracket semicolon. This creates a byte array of data which can hold a maximum of 1024 bytes and we will be using it both for what we receive and what we send to the server. Then we're going to create something called an IP endpoint. Endpoint equals new IP endpoint IP address dot any comma 904. Now this is basically going to be uh, what listens for connections and so we're saying any IP address on the port 904. So make sure that since for my example I'm using port, nine, port 904, make sure you use port 904 in your client as well, otherwise it won't connect up. So this has to match with what the client has. And then the next thing we are going to do is we will be creating a socket. New socket equals new socket address family dot inner network comma socket type dot d dgram comma protocol type dot udp and this is basically going to be storing the connection that we get from the client and then we have to go um, endpoint dot bind sorry new socket dot bind endpoint uh, close parentheses semicolon and so basically that just says to uh, bind uh, any incoming connection to that socket so the next line of code we're going to write is going to just be a message to the console console.write line and we'll say waiting for a client and that merely just displays that message to the console and so then what we're going to do is we're going to create an IP endpoint sender equals new IP endpoint IP address dot any so that means any address and then we'll put port 904 <clears throat> and then we're going to create an, I, an endpoint again called TMP remote equals parenthesis endpoint close parenthesis sender and so basically, once we get to this line of code right here, the program will stop and wait for an incoming connection. And then as soon as it gets one, it goes down to this next line, and it stores the, the client into this TMP remote variable. And then that's what brings us to this next line, recv equals new socket dot receive from open parenthesis data comma ref TMP remote so let me just pause right there for a second basically we say as soon as a computer or a client program connects on any IP address on port 904 we will wire it up to this TMP remote sender thing and then we will store all of the client information into this new socket that we created the socket variable and then we receive all the data that it's sending and we basically store how much data there is inside of this RECV variable. So then after that, we just write out this information to this, the console screen, console.writeline, and we're, 
will be like message received from and that's a squiggly bracket zero close for squiggly bracket close parenth uh, quotation mark comma tmp remote dot two string and so that'll basically tell us the computer that we received the data from and then we write out the data console dot write line encoding dot ascii dot get string open parenthesis data comma zero comma recv so basically that means convert the byte array that we got into a string and then display it to the console. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a welcome message. So string welcome equals quotation mark welcome to my server close quotation mark semicolon and then we'll convert that into a byte array by going data equals encoding dot ascii dot get bytes open parenthesis welcome close parenthesis semicolon so we just convert that string into a byte array and then we're going to make sure that the client is still connected so we go if new socket dot connected close parenthesis enter and we say new socket dot send data close parenthesis semicolon so this is if they are connected if it if that value is true then run this line of code and so if they are still connected then we will say welcome to my server then we're gonna go down and we will create a while true statement and this is going to be kind of the loop that just reads information from the client so first thing we still make sure they're still connected so we say if well actually we're gonna see if they're disconnected so if new socket dot connected so you'll notice I put this little quote um, exclamation mark right there and that basically means if they're not connected it reverses whatever the boolean value is so if connected is true this will evaluate to false if connected is false this will evaluate to true so that's kind of like a little shortcut for uh, boolean logic type things so then we go open close parenthesis and we say console dot right line client disconnected close quotation mark close parenthesis semicolon and then we say break and that means jump out of the while true loop and then after that uh, close squiggly bracket we are going to jump down and we'll say data equals new byte array 1024 so we reset the byte array we say recv equals new socket dot receive from data comma ref tmp endpoint um, remote and then we say we make sure that there's actually data there if recv is equal equal to zero we break so we say if there's no data there break out of the wild true loop again and then after that we'll just go console dot write line encoding dot ascii dot get string data comma zero comma recv close uh, parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon and you'll notice that's just like this line of code up here so basically we say if there is um, information to read then we display it to the screen and then below that we will say uh, socket dot sorry new socket dot disconnect or dot close so we close out after the loop has been broken and then that's really all there is to it oops sorry Let me just yep that's all there is to uh, this program and so you just want to run it and you'll notice you may get this little thing to pop up so it says waiting for client and so then you'll just jump down into your uh, UDP client run it and it should connect up to this now uh, before I go I'm going to talk a little bit about what could cause issues with your program not working over the internet this will work fine locally but it may not work over the internet and the reason is because of port forwarding okay I have 30 seconds to explain port forwarding basically it's a concept where your computer's internet is maintained by this thing called the router which is what your computer probably plugs into or connects to through a wireless connection and port forwarding is the idea where when you get a connection from the internet your router will determine which computer to forward the connection to based on the port it's on so what you need to do if you're not if you're having issues with this program is look into port forwarding for your specific router thanks for watching have a good day